Hey all, welcome back to my channel. Since last year, I was learning a programming language called Python. Python is a high level programming language which is very easy to learn. It can help us in learning robotics, artificial intelligence, etc. It is very interesting and I'm sure that you will never get bored by doing this. So I will be with you to share some major and important basics of Python programming language and we can together do some projects. So I hope you guys will be with me in this learning of Python programming language. See how to do the setup. In the description below I have given a link and if you click the link this is what you can see. This is Replit and in this you have to click for Ripple. So here we have to sign up or login using Google or Facebook or whatever you want. This will give you a copy of whatever I have done and in this you can run the program. Let's get started with printing. Printing means we can print something on the output screen. For example, we need to print hello world. We can use a function named print. To call a function, we should use brackets. The pieces of text that we type is called strings. The double quotes show the beginning and the ending of that string of characters. If we forget to close the bracket or to type the double quotes, we couldn't run the program and it will show an error. So, once we typed, we have to run the program. If we run the program, this is what you can see as the output. So, next, we can learn about string manipulation. First of all, we are printing hello world two times. Now, look what is the output. Instead of this, I will show you an easy method. Write both the hello world as a single string and in between them, we can add backward slash n. Let's learn about string concatenation. String concatenation means adding two strings. For example, if we print, print hello plus your name, what do you think that the output will be? It will show like, hello Sheikha. So what is the way to add a space in between them? For that, we can add a plus sign and put the string as just space. Next, do you know what is input function? It is a function which asks the value from the user. For example, input, what is your name? Then the output will be like, what is your name and the program will be post. Then if we type something, for example, I'm typing my name Sheikha, the program stops. So for adding hello with this Sheikha, what we will do? Here's the solution. Print hello plus input what is your name. Then the output will be like this. They will ask, what is your name? If we type, then the next line will be hello and what the user typed. For example, I'm typing here, Sheikha. So, the output will be, hello, Sheikha. Next, we are going to discuss about Python variables. Look at this line of code. If we run the program, the output will be pretty familiar. It will ask us our name. If we hit enter, nothing happens. But behind the scene, this name has now been received by this function. But we can't refer to it in the future. In this case, the variables are really useful. If I'm typing name and an equal to sign, whatever the user types as the input, its value will be stored in this variable called name. And now, we can actually go ahead and print the value of this variable, name. And if I run the code and write my name, hit enter, we will see that its value is printed. We can use this at any word in the code. And one more step. We can write something for the reference like, if we open the code and if you read those lines, you can understand what you have done with it. So, this is called commenting and it is done by adding 
this symbol at the beginning of a line. So that's all about this video. Consider subscribing for more videos in this topic and many other interesting topics. Thank you.